Hey everyone, this is Chase with Rocky Mountain 8 VMC. Today we're giving you a closer look at the Slacker Digital Suspension Tuner V4 from Motul. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today we want to show you an awesome tool to have for your dirt bike, your street bike, even your mountain bike. It's the Slacker Digital Suspension Tuner V4 from Motul. These guys have been making great tools for years now to help you set your sag. And the best part about these is it allows you to set your sag by yourself. And with the V4, if you're familiar with the V2, that's actually one that I've been using for years now. It works great. But with the V4, you've got some big updates now. Now you're Bluetooth, so you're completely wireless. So you don't have that wire that runs from the unit to the remote. For me, that can be sort of a hassle sometimes. Also, there is a new app. And what's great about it, it's free for your iPhone, for Android. So you download the app, you can now use your phone instead of the remote. And we'll talk some more about the app and some of the cool features with that. And the other feature that's new with the V4 is the automatic zero function. It's a great tool to have. Like I said, I've been using it. I've talked about in a lot of different videos of how important it is to have your sag set correctly to make sure the balance of the bike is right. And so if that's something that you're interested in doing, be able to set your sag by yourself, not with multiple people helping you, this is definitely a tool that you want to have. So what we want to do today is just walk you through, show you exactly how to use this, and also show you some of the big updates that are new with the V4. So before we show you how this works, we'll just show you real quick what comes included when you pick up your Slacker V4. You've got the main unit itself. You're going to have a clamp, which goes to your rear fender. Now in some cases, depending on your bike, especially for street bikes, you might not have a good spot for this clamp. So they actually include now with the V4 these little adhesive back loops. And you know, this is really nice because now your cable from your slacker can just connect right to that if you don't have a good spot for the clamp. You're also going to have a fork clamp. So if you're checking the sag on your forks, you have this little clamp with some Velcro straps. Now a couple additional accessories that you can pick up with this as well. Again, we talked about the wireless remote. Now you can buy this as a kit, so you can buy the remote with the main unit. But if you want to save that money, again, you can use your phone, download that free app, so you don't have to pick up the remote if you don't want to. And lastly, they do have a nice carrying case that has foam cutouts, so you can easily take all this with you and just have a nice secure location for that. So to get this installed and ready to use, it is a very simple process. There's only a few steps involved. If you've used the V2, it's the exact same process, nothing has changed. But if you haven't, first step, you want to make sure that you know where you're going to put your clamp, again, that the cable will attach to. Now on some bikes like newer KTM and Husqvarna's, they will actually have a location pre-marked on the fender for you. But if you don't have one of those, Here's an easy way to check where this should go. You can take a rope, a piece of string. You could even use the Slacker V4 if you didn't have a piece of rope. But you just go from the center of the swing arm to the center of the axle and then make an arc until you come in contact with your rear fender or your side plate. So once you have that location, that's where the clamp will go. You could mark that. You could drill a small hole. That way you know exactly where to put the clamp every time you use it. So now we have our clamp installed. Next thing you want to do is just put the slacker on. Now this is really easy. It's magnetic on the back. So you're literally just going to pop it right onto your axle. And then from there, you're going to take your cable, connect that to your clamp. Now one step here that's important is you want to make sure that you have as straight a line as possible coming from the slacker to the actual clamp. And like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a good location for this clamp, you can see we have one right here just to show you. You can use one of those adhesive back loops as another attachment point for that cable. But once you've got that attached, you're gonna press the power button, turn it on, and if you bought the wireless remote, you're gonna put that on your handlebars or you open your phone, get the app open, and now you're ready to start checking sag. So now that we have this all set up, we're ready to start checking our sag. So a couple things to be mindful of. First of all, you wanna make sure that the unit is zeroed out. To do that, you're just gonna press the power button. But once you've done that, you're just gonna take the bike off the stand. You wanna do that gently. You don't wanna just slam the bike on the ground because you could cause the unit to move on the axle. So set that down slowly, and that first number is gonna be your static sag. And static sag is just how much your shock is compressing under the weight of the motorcycle by itself. Now once you've checked your static sag, then as a rider, you're just gonna hop on the bike. Now it's important when you're checking your sag, the rider sag, you wanna make sure that you're fully geared up. So put on your boots, your knee braces, your gear, your helmet, whatever you wear, make sure you put that on. That will give you the best, the most accurate measurement. But you just hop on the bike and that's gonna give you a readout for your rider sag. And you'll see that on the unit itself, if you're using the wireless remote on the handlebar, you can just look at that and that will give you both measurements. 
Now, once you get your numbers for your static and your rider sag, you want to look at your owner's manual. They will actually give a window of where those two numbers should be, and that will also help you know if you're either good with your shock spring rate or if you need to go up or down. Now, if you need to adjust your sag from this point, we have a great how-to video where we show you how to loosen and adjust your spring to either take away or add more sag. So give that a watch if you're not familiar with that process. Now another great feature that we talked about earlier is the auto zero function and what I love about this is it allows you to actually check and adjust your sag if needed without using a stand. A great example of that is this Husqvarna TX300 and the way it works is really simple. All you're going to do is just press down on this light button, you're going to hold it down for about three to five seconds and you'll see it change. And once that happens, I'm just going to walk around to the back of the bike, lift up on the fender and the slacker will actually log when your suspension tops out and it will record that as your zero. And then when you set the bike back down, now you can actually check your static and your rider sag accurately. So now we want to talk about the app a little bit. And for us, the app is really what makes this so unique from the V2. So the app isn't just a digital readout like you're getting with the wireless remote. You can do the auto zero on here. You can reset it if you need to. But what's cool is that you can create your bike profile and then you can do what they call notes. And it's basically a sub profile. So you can see we've got this Husqvarna and we've labeled it as RM bike and this is our single track profile. So right now with the static sag at 42 millimeters, all I have to do is press update static sag and it will automatically enter that in for me. Now to do a rider sag, rider hops on the bike. Once you get that measurement, you put update rider sag, it will automatically save that information for you. Now you have your static and rider sag and now what I can do is I can go back in the bike I can go to that single track profile. It's already saved my static and rider sag, but for here you can see I can enter a lot more information. I can enter high and low speed compression for my shock. I can enter rebound and compression for my fork. I can enter preload numbers. This way you can save all the information for that exact bike setup. So the next time you're maybe riding that type of terrain, you can look exactly what your settings were and you can mimic those. All right, so to finish everything off, we just got to talk about pairing real quick. It's very simple. To pair the wireless remote, all you have to do is turn them both on. You're going to press down on the power button and the light button on both at the same time until you see PA, that stands for pairing, and then they automatically pair themselves. It's that simple. If you're going with the phone, you download the app to pair it to your phone, it's this simple. All you got to do is just turn on the unit, open up the app, the app will automatically find your, your V4 and it will pair itself. So pairing on these things is really simple. But if you have questions or comments, about anything that we talked about today. If you're using one of these, we'd love to hear your feedback, so make sure to leave your questions in your comments below. To pick up your new Slacker Digital Tuner V4, you can click on the link or just head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. And remember, we do have that how-to video that explains how to adjust and set your SAG if you've never done that before. But in any case, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this product spotlight, make sure to get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.